Hi, I'm Paul, and today I will take you on a quick tour of your Email Octopus account. Let's start with your dashboard, which is the main screen that gives you quick access to all our features. If you're new to Email Octopus, you'll need to create a list to store your contacts. You will need to add at least one contact to start sending. If you don't have a list yet, it can be your own email address. And if you do have a list, you can import it from a spreadsheet. You can create multiple lists, but we recommend keeping all your contacts on a single list and using custom fields and tags to divide your contacts and avoid duplicating them. To manage the fields and tags connected to your list, you can use these dedicated tabs. Later on, you can segment contacts based on that information which gives you more control over who you send each campaign to. You can also segment contacts based on recent engagement with your campaigns. Within your list view, you can sort your contacts based on various criteria. Those can be mixed and matched to create specific target audiences. Here you can also tag, export and delete selected contacts in bulk. To build your list organically, you can set up a sign-up form so that people can subscribe to receive your content. We offer standalone landing pages and forms to embed on your own website. You can also integrate various third-party tools for that purpose. Once you've added contacts to your list, you can start designing your campaign. In the Templates tab, you can create a template that will act as the base for your campaigns, or you can choose and edit one of our own templates too. For most people, we would recommend using the drag-and-drop editor. If you plan on using your own HTML code, use the classic editor instead. Once you're happy with your template design, you can start setting up a campaign. Campaigns are emails sent to your whole list or a segment of contacts. They can be sent immediately or scheduled to be sent at a later time or date. You can also use automation to send emails. Those are trigger-based, specific for each contact and allow you to create welcome emails and more advanced automation scenarios. For example, you can automate a different welcome message based on what your subscribers said during sign-up. After sending your campaign or automated email, you will be able to view its performance in the Reports tab. We collect metrics such as opens, clicks, bounces and unsubscribes and you can export all this data with just a few clicks. In the Account settings, you can perform a number of actions. For example, you can edit your account details, add new sender emails and domains, or manage your plan. If you head to Integrations and API, you can manage your webhooks and API keys. This is also where you'll view our list of direct integrations and a few popular Zapier integrations. If you need any help, you can click on the beacon in the bottom right corner to browse our knowledge base articles or to contact us directly. I hope you enjoyed the tour and feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy emailing!